Okay, 6.4 isosceles triangles and the mid-segment theorem. So one of the key things here is remember what an isosceles triangle is, and that has two matching legs. So an isosceles triangle has two legs that are the same measurement. One leg, two legs. The vertex angle. We could call that the included angle. It is the angle formed by the two legs. Think of that you as a pass, right? So the vertex is the included angle of the two matching legs. And it's also not going to be equal to these two. These are called base angles. And they are opposite the legs. The base angles are always congruent to each other. And the base is opposite the vertex angle. So the isosceles triangle theorem. If two sides in a triangle are congruent, then the angles opposite to those sides, sorry, are congruent. And the angles opposite those sides, remember, are your base angles. That's what's the S. Tiny S. And the converse of that is if two angles in a triangle are congruent, the sides opposite those, those sides would be the legs, are congruent. So mark the sides and angles that are congruent based on the given information. Well, this and this are equal. Now, remember, that does not, the base angles don't have to be on the bottom, because we could rotate this triangle and have C at the top. So therefore, the side opposite and the side opposite these two are the same. So here is a base angle. Here's a base angle. And here's my vertex angle. Now, here we have two sides marked, two legs marked which means the opposite angles, which are our base angles, are congruent. So F and E are congruent. Again, I and G are congruent. So IH and GH are congruent to one another. And again, you can go around and label base angles and vertex angles, but you see two matching ones are my base angles, and the other one, the odd man out, is my vertex angle. And the two legs that are matching, two sides that are matching, are legs. The third side is the base. So find X. So again, let's see what is equal to itself, each other. So we draw our opposite and find out that these two are my legs. So I set them equal to each other. So I'm going to subtract 5x. And get negative 3x equals negative 9. If I divide by negative 3, I get x is positive 3. Now I said just find x. But if I plug it back in, here and here, 2 times 3 is 6. 3 times 5 is 15, and 15 minus 9 is 6. So it works out. Now if I plug it in here, I get 18 plus 2, which is 20. So the two legs are 6, and the base is 20. Here, these are already marked, the 
just for practice, I'm going to remind myself that these are my base angle. Didn't really need them because we're talking about side lengths, but this leg and this leg are equal. So 5x minus 2 equals 7x minus 8. So subtract 5x. Now I'm going to add 8. 5x is canceled, the 8's canceled. 8 minus 2 is 6. 7 minus 5x is 2x. Divide by 2, x is, again, 3. If I were to plug it in here, 15 minus 2 is 13. Plug it in here, 21 minus 8 is 13. Okay, here, this side and this side are equal to one another. So 2x plus 6 equals 3x plus 2. We have 2x on both sides. And we have 2 from both sides. So 2x is canceled and the 2 is canceled. I'm left with 1x equals, oh good, 4. Not 3. So I plug it in. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 2 is 14. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 6 is 14. The two legs match. Okay, finding angles. Mark the base angles that are congruent. Okay. Then remember the three angles out to 180. Write an equation and solve for the missing angle. So, here's my leg. There's one base angle, there's another base angle. So, it's congruent. So, this is x and this is f. We have one like this on our previous units. They're both x's, which means x plus x plus 52 adds up to 180. That's 2x plus 52 equals 180. Subtract 52. 180 minus 50 is 130. Minus another 2, 128. x divided by 2 is 64 degrees. So this is 64 degrees, this is 64 degrees, and 52 will all add up to 180. Okay, well, we see our sides. This angle and this angle are the same, which means I is 63 degrees. So our equation is, this is our unknown, 63 plus 63, or we do 2 times 63, plus X equals 180. Combine like terms, 126 plus X equals 180. Subtract 126, then we get x is 54 degrees. And c is going to be similar to a, x, x. I'll write it differently this time. I'll just go ahead and write it. Way to say 2x plus 75 equals 180. Subtract 75. 2x equals 105. x equals, divide by 2, 52.5 degrees. So each one of these is 52.5 degrees. Mid segment. A segment is a, a segment is a segment connecting midpoints of two sides. This should say mid segment right here. Sorry. Typo. A mid segment is a segment connecting the midpoints of two sides of a triangle. Every triangle has three of them. So this point right here, this point right here, and this point right here are all midpoints. 
How do we know that? Because this segment and this segment are equal. And this segment is equal to this segment. And this one here is congruent to this one here. Which means these three points must be the midpoints. Each of these three red lines inside are called mid-segments. Now, the interesting thing is, the mid-segment is always going to be parallel, hence the triangle or the arrows. Remember, we can use triangles or we can use arrows. It doesn't matter, whatever you prefer. The mid-segment is always going to be half of the side it's parallel to. So RS and T are midpoints on the side of triangle ABC. So we can go through and mark those two equal, those two equal, and these two equal. And you can use any number of marks, remember. If AB is 12, so the entire AB is 12, that means this is 6 and this is 6. BC is 14. <laughs> so the entire BC is 14, which makes this one 7 and this one 7. And AC is 18. Makes this nine. Find all the mid segments. Well, RS is parallel to AC, which means RS is half of AC. So since AC is eighteen. RS is 9. Now let's look at ST. ST is parallel to AB. Since AB is 12, that makes ST 6. And then RT is parallel to BC. Since BC is 14, RT is 7. Now, you can choose to go through and erase all those numbers at the top, or just work off the new information, or you can make a quick sketch. And, you know, something like this. And BC is 15. AC is 22. And ST is 10. Sorry. Oh, I need this. R S T. Going backwards. ST is 10. So, we're trying to find AB. RT and RS. So RS is right here and it's parallel to AC, which is 22, which makes RS half of that at 11. RT, where is that? RT is right here. Sort of. It is parallel to BC, which is 15, making this half of that at 7.5. Now here's a tricky one going the opposite way. AB is parallel to ST, which is 10, which makes AB double or 20. 